Hi, this is Pete Farrow, Gotham Hall. We're here now for the Pacquiao Broner press conference, and it's pretty exciting, and we got a lot of great interviews coming up. Showtime is thrilled to be hosting this press conference and to be bringing this, this matchup to must-see fighters. Uh, there's a very short list of, of fighters that you would consider must-see attractions, and of course, these two active fighters are on the top of the list. Steve, Pete Farrow, real quick, mm -hmm. what is your projection of sales for this uh, Broder Pacquiao fight? Um, you know, we will have to get into it because the, the reality is, um, you know, we, we talk to uh, all the, the operators and distributors, we'll do some analysis on social media, you know, we'll, we'll gather intel from guys like you and, and sort of see, you know, I have a gut reaction. The gut reaction is, look, Manny Pacquiao is still one of the biggest names of the sport. You know, one of the a global superstar. Yeah, and one of the handful of names that is truly known by the casual fan, by people who don't know boxing otherwise. Uh, he also has legions of incredibly loyal Filipino fans and, and even a, sort of, I think, a, an underappreciated Mexican fan base because of his fights against some of the great Mexican fighters of the recent past. Um, and then you get the other side of the equation with a guy who can carry his half of the promotion as well. You know, and Broner brings an entirely different demographic, an entirely different feel um, to the fight. So you've got two great elements outside the ring. Inside the ring, I think they're two of the most entertaining fighters that you could see. I Absolutely. Know. Yeah, I, you know, not everybody, you know, loves Adrian Broner, but, you know, most people watch him. You know, some of them want him to lose, some of them like him, but he's never boring. And you can say the same thing about Pacquiao. The opponent is fast and um, he's, a, he's a caliber fighter, he's good and uh, we have to work hard and train hard for this fight so that uh, the people will, uh, will be happy on January 19 and will give a good, a good fight. You're the former commissioner of New York State Athletic Commission, you're a big on Cyrus Boxing, I follow you all the time, you know that on your Facebook show. How do you look at this fight? This is a very interesting fight. For the longest time I've been wishing this fight could happen. And I was completely shocked that this was going to take place. I got to feel that it's a terrific fight. Let's see which Broner shows up uh, after that. Um, I'm actually going to pick Manny Pacquiao on a decision. Well, people know from history that you always seem to pick the right guy. Way back in 1981, when Jerry Cooney fought Ken Norton, you were one person that picked that Cooney would not Ken out in the first round, and it came true. Well, that would happen to be one pick where I was right. There's many times that I'm wrong. But you know what? When I say that you were probably one of the better, or if not the best, boxing commission we ever had, that's my pick, and I still stand by that. I thank you very much for that. That means a lot to me. Thank you. There's a lot of people who wanted this fight, and, you know, God blessed me to get it. I, and I guess I'm just the chosen one. But um, what can I say about Pacquiao? I mean, you know, uh, he's a future Hall of Famer. It's a huge fight. Um, Manny Pacquiao taking on Adrian Bronner, January 19th in none other than Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand. Adrian's going to do him and be him, and that's all he needs to do. It, this, again, this is a, a tremendous platform. It's going to be the biggest fight of 2019, um, and it's going to be a historic fight. When you first got into boxing, did you ever dream of being this successful? Yes. You did? Yes. <laughs> when does it start? When do you retire? When does it end? Does it end? Uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us. A lot of work ahead of us. We got a, a lot of uh, very good young fighters, a lot of big events, you know, and uh, we rolling. We Some rolling. people in the boxing world say that you're one of the most hardest working people in boxing. Is that true? I don't know about boxing, but I know I, ver I work very hard. I take my job very seriously, and I always have, and I will continue to give a uh, 150% day in and day out, night in and night out, because that's what I love to do. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, all bullshit aside, I'm not coming to just pick up a check. Fuck the money. I know when I win this fight, there's more money to come. Y'all got me fucked up if y'all think I'm about to lose the Manny Pacquiao, man. I'm about to beat his motherfucking ass on God and them. Your first time on pay-per-view, I know you had a, a very Hall of Fame career right now. You won all these titles. You're fighting Manny Pacquiao. After you fight him and you win, what's next? Um, honestly, my main focus is just getting the win. You know, uh, 
Good training camp, I hope? Yes, yes, sir. Right back. Champ, I follow your career a very long time. I follow your career a very long time. A lot of people thought you were the next Ray Leonard, you were the next, next Sugar Ray Robinson, you were the next uh, Floyd Mayweather. Could this still all happen? Yes, sir. You know, and um, I'm definitely not the next Ray Leonard or Sugar Ray Robinson or Floyd Mayweather. Um, I'm the first Adrian Brown to say it. That's what I like to hear, Champ, but keep up the good work, all right? I believe we... Um, we can uh, have a good fight and we can uh, entertain uh, the fans, uh, especially uh, Adrian Bonner is um, he's one of uh, caliber fighter and he's a good boxer. Um, we cannot underestimate him. How many more years are you going to box before you retire? A um, couple more fights. Um, I can still fight uh, uh, three more years like that. Thank you, champ. I appreciate it. Thank you. Saturday, January 19th. Presented by Premier Boxing Champions on Showtime Pay-Per-View, Manny Pacquiao taking on Adrian the Problem Broner. And again, you can see it on Showtime Pay-Per-View.